Appreciate you joining me today. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be looking in Exodus chapter 2 once again. We're going to be thinking, um, we're going to be looking at just one verse, and it's as uh, the sister of Moses, Miriam, stands and, and watches on. We'll read it here in just a moment. Today's hymn is the hymn, I am praying for you. I have a Savior, He's pleading in glory, a dear loving Savior, though earth friends be few. And now He is watching in tenderness o'er me, but oh, that my Savior were your Savior too. For you I am praying, for you I am praying, for you I am praying, I'm praying. For you. Let's look at the third verse. I have a peace, it is calm as a river, a peace that the friends of this world never knew. My Savior alone is its author and giver, and oh, could I know it was given to you. I'm praying for you. Let's read the verse together now. Exodus chapter 2, yesterday we looked at when Moses' mother could no longer hide him. She took an ark of bulrushes for him, daubed it with asphalt and pitch, and put the child in it, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. And his sister stood afar off to know what would be done to him. And just that picture of Miriam standing afar off, we don't know how old she was, um, there's some speculation that perhaps she was around seven or eight years old, but it's speculation. But she's a, I think we, we could say she's a little, she's old enough apparently that when she comes and speaks to the daughter of Pharaoh in the following verses. But to look at this account, just as, as Miriam stands afar off to know what would be done, and, and as we think about our hymn, I'm praying for you, and also, back to our hymn, notice, I have a Savior, he's pleading in glory. A dear loving Savior, though earth friends be few, and now he is watching in tenderness o'er me. But oh, that my Savior were your Savior too. And so this, it's this picture of the Lord's watching over us. Though earth friends be few, he's pleading in glory. To Miriam, I appreciate her. We, we should appreciate her as she's a, a young girl. And she is looking out to see, pardon me, to know what would be done to him. She's not self-absorbed. She's not at home playing with her toys playing with her friends, doing what she wants to do. She's concerned about somebody else. And this is what prayer does, or at least it's what prayer should do, or at least it's a part of what prayer should do. It should, it should take us and move us beyond ourselves as we think about others. And, and here Miriam is. And she's standing afar off to know what will, what will happen to her baby brother. And, and as she's doing this, obviously she wants what is best. And again, that's a part of prayer. We want what is best for someone else. And sometimes we come up, a little, we come up short of that goal. We get caught up in the... Um, the, the physical ailments of life, perhaps. And it's not wrong to pray for physical ailments. But we also need to recognize Jesus wants what is best for us, 
Jesus died for us. Jesus died for the remission of our sins. And so we want what is best. What is best for people. And so this hymn is, is an invitational hymn. I'm praying for you because that's ultimately what's best. Here, Miriam, she's looking, she's looking and she wants what is best for her baby brother. And, and as this is happening, this is her role. And even as a young girl, she is fulfilling her role. She has a role in all this. She's going to have another role later on. But here she has a role as a young girl. And Moses' mother puts him in the little basket, puts, puts the basket in the reeds by the river, and now there's a lookout, and it's Miriam. And if Miriam had not been watching, she would not have seen Pharaoh's daughter do what she did. Miriam has a role. And when we are praying for others, that is our role. We do what we can. We have faith and we have works, and we bless and we do good for them but we also pray for them. And sometimes all we can do is pray for them. That is good. That is our role. We want what is best for them, and we are concerned for others. Miriam, looking out, looking out for her brother. Am I my brother's keeper? And here we see her, standing, standing afar off, afar off, but looking to see what would come to pass. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.